Are you stuck in a constant cycle of making eight ball loops and never finishing your tracks? In this video, I'm gonna teach you a game-changing arrangement technique that will make your tracks sound more interesting and professional so that people want to listen to your music on repeat. Once you learn how to use this technique correctly, it will eliminate all the second guessing and not knowing what to do next, how to arrange when you have your loops. And you'll be able to finish your tracks within just three to four hours. Let's get started with the video. Okay, let me introduce you the concept called the two loop trick. Our ears naturally expect the song to change every eight bars of the main instruments. Understanding this makes it easy to arrange the track. You only have to create variations every eight bars to keep it interesting. No overthinking and second guessing like how do I arrange. So let me show you a little example uh, from this song and pay attention to how the energy changes every eight bars. So you can see there's a lot of dynamics, there's a lot of movement going on. So even though this is like a 16 bar loop, I could play it like multiple times and it doesn't get uh, boring. Yo Vlad, this is all good, but how do I add variation to my loops? In this video, we're gonna talk about four ways you can add variation to your loops. So we can add an instrument, we can add an expression to existing instrument, we can remove an instrument, and we can reduce the expression of the instruments, and we're gonna talk about all those things in depth. I want to give you one more tip that will make it even easier and that will eliminate even more like thinking, second guessing, being stuck, and so on. So before you start arranging, let's say you have your main loop, like eight to 16 bars, what, what I recommend. Before you start arranging left to right, outline the arrangement of the song. So take a reference track, outline, so you see intro, break, main drop, break two, so on and so on. This way, I know exactly what I need to do in the track to finish it quickly. This eliminates second guessing. After you did this, you will also see the visual, like visually you will see the energy. By understanding energy levels in the track, it will be easier to add variation to the arrangement because here okay here's more energy then i need to do this here is the break then i need to do this and the next tip after you do the first two is uh think of your track in 16 bar blocks now you have simplified the arrangement process even more why 16 bars is because 16 bars is basically uh, one variation, so eight bars and eight bars, so the two loop trick. So this is variation number one that you need to create, variation number two, variation number three, number four, number five, uh, number six, and so on and so on. And once you do this, you understand that you only need to create like variation five, six, seven times depending on the length of the song. Tip number one, adding instruments. To keep arrangement interesting, add instruments every eight bars of your song. I like adding drums and accentuation layers for the main melody. They play same notes, but have different timbre. This adds depth to the main melody. Add sounds in the way to complement and reinforce the main theme. Don't make your instruments fight for the space. I want you to listen to the track and listen to how I'm adding the drums and those layers. So pay close attention to that. So number one. So you can see how much of an energy change we have from here. Just with the drums alone. 
And once we have those layers and the main melody, that's all you have to do. I didn't change it, just spice it up a little bit and that's it. Really quickly guys, if you like the track, I have a full one hour in-depth arrangement masterclass where I'm talking about the structure of the track, how to create ideas for the track, advanced automation techniques. So if you want to learn more, link is in the comments. Let's talk about tip number two, removing instruments. Be strategic with energy levels in the track. You don't need to build tension all the time. When you feel that the main theme starts to sound boring, take out some sounds. You can remove drums and don't change the theme, but our ears will still perceive that as variation combined with automation to emphasize the drop in the energy, like the dip in the energy. And you can be really, really creative with that. One example that I really love is this section of the track, because here I have the full climax. You have enough like of this high energy. So pay attention to how I'm transitioning from this part into this part. <laughs> So even just by removing drums, you can create such an interesting dynamic in the energy. And one last example is again, this, this break. Okay, number three, adding expression. Club music is simple and repetitive. If you don't have movement in your synths, it will sound amateur. Utilize automation for things like filter cutoff, ADSR, FX, and so on. Reverb and delay automation can take your mixes to the next level. And I talk about advanced automations in the training. Link is in the comments. Analyze the energy levels in your track and emphasize peaks with automation. So for example, one of the things that I really, really love is have a look at, uh, I'm just gonna solo, right? Have a look and listen to the automation. I'm also visually. <laughs> how alive the lead sound feels because it's like mm, like this there's, there's so much movement here and one of the really really cool examples is again like emphasizing and then dropping the energy so have a listen at um, how we are transitioning from this break into the next build <laughs> Reducing expression of instruments. Good music is like a roller coaster of emotions. Reduce expression with automation when the listener doesn't expect it to shock them. I like building tension to the maximum and then dropping the energy. This works when you transition from the drop to the break and vice versa. Create contrast with change in the dynamics. So here you can see we, we um, build tension to the max and then we are also removing the drums here so like you need to combine all those techniques at the same time and then we are closing filter on the synth to reduce the energy so let's go to this section of the track <laughs> So there's like tension and then resolution. And now let's just compare that if you kept the same automation, it would kill the vibe. And then if, if we had the drums, it wouldn't be the same contrast. <laughs> Sure, it's not bad, but I, I like having those roller coasters. It just sounds way more interesting when it's up and down, up and down. Yeah. 
So that was tip number four. And there's one more thing that you need to understand to make your arrangement sound professional and smooth. Master transitions between different sections of the track to make your arrangements sound smooth. There's entry point and exit point after transition. Build tension before the entry point and release after uh, exit point. So we are utilizing all the techniques, automation, building tension, removing instruments, right? So look at this one. And then we are closing the automation to like drop the energy. And then we are also using the noise effects to, again, build tension and the downshifter. I'm going to play you this uh, section of the track. And this is going to sound like this. So listen to this. So we reduced the drums. And then by using automation on the instruments here, and for example, without the effects, yes, it's going to be okay, but with the effects, we can make it interesting. Like, sure, it's not bad, but with, with effects, it's Mwah, really good. It just adds that final touch. Okay, so this is the two loop trick and four ways how you can add variations to your loops, make your arrangements sound more professional. If you want to learn more about arrangement, check my masterclass, link is in the comments. And if you want to work with me on your music, start releasing music that you're proud of, achieve pro sound and all this stuff, uh, check the link, go to my website, uh, book a call and let's have a chat. I would love to work with you together and help you with your music. So that's it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.